I'm here with Phil Kopinski, head coach of the Cougar track and field teams. Today we are looking back at the Northern Athletics Collegiate Conference Outdoor Championships held this past Friday and Saturday. And um, Phil, let's, uh, let's just start with your very uh, general, broad assessment of the, uh, of the weekend. Uh, we finally had nice weather. <laughs> that would be the first thing that comes to mind. We actually had a couple of days where uh, the weather cooperated well enough for the athletes to participate up to the level that they've trained for. So it was nice to see uh, as many of our kids run well. Uh, unfortunately, we had a few kids not perform as well as we would hope, but you're going to get that in every meet. Uh, but overall, I, I think it was a, a real good weekend. I think we set five school records uh, as a team. So. I think that puts uh, the program up to around 11 or 12 since I took over last year. So I definitely feel we're trending in the right direction. Uh, kids are buying into the system. They're adjusting to the new coaching staff because it's we're going to have another new coach next year with our GA, Corey Volkman, leaving. Uh, so it's, it's constant flux, and the kids are rising above uh, the situation. So it's nice to see them get some good results. All right. Uh, let's start off uh, with the women's side. And um, very impressive in that virtually all of the running events had at least uh, one Cougar in the uh, scoring column. And let's start off with uh, Chelsea Wilson. Uh, she's had a great freshman year. Um, in this meet, she came up, uh, she, I believe she contributed to the scoring in four different events. Uh, and in the, uh, the 100 and the 200, she came away with uh, second place finishes in both. And, uh, you know, how much more can you say about what a great freshman year she has had? Uh, I hope it gets better every year. That's, uh, uh, I mean, that would be the hope. Uh, but any time a freshman comes in and uh, establishes what she was part of four school records over the weekend. And, you know, we hope that she'll only get stronger bigger, faster, and that she can reach the potential and the goals she sets for herself. Uh, she's very intrinsically motivated and it makes it easy as a coach when you get those kind of kids around because they, they just raise the uh, energy of everybody around them. I mean, Chelsea's made Rashada, Andrea, and Divinity uh, better. Everybody's kind of risen up because, hey, we, she's an impromptu leader. Andrea's the heart and soul of that team and Chelsea is just the motivating factor. Everybody wants to do well. They believe now Chelsea has brought that to them. So hopefully when that women's team trains over the next two weeks here for the four by one, uh, it'd be nice to see if they can maybe still sneak in. They got to drop about another second, but if there's uh, any team that can do it, those five, six young ladies combined, um, you know, hopefully the four of them are feeling good that day and we pick the right four. All right. Um you mentioned a uh, you mentioned a couple of the sprinters just now. Um, uh, certainly, the uh, the Cougars had some success in the uh, longer distance uh, running events. Uh, Alicia Johnson, uh, Danielle McCormick, uh, both of them with uh, some very nice results. Um, Courtney Nurchik also in that uh, in that group as well. Yeah, and, and Courtney is slowly transitioning from a sprinter to the mid distance area. So it was something we decided right after indoor. And she's still placed in the 400, which is an, uh, an area where I think she'll have a lot of success over the next two years. Uh, Danielle, it was nice to see. She hadn't run for 10 days leading up to that meet uh, with a mild foot injury. So we kind of just rested her and said, let's see what happens. And she was seated eighth and she finished eighth. So that was nice. And uh, Alicia Johnson is one of those girls who uh, will be running the next two last chance meets, not necessarily with the hopes of uh, qualifying for nationals, but uh, personal goals, trying to get under five minutes in the 1500, which make her the only, the second Cougar, I think, to do so uh, in the 1500, and then to improve her 800 times. So uh, Alicia had a real good meet. Our women's distance did well. Uh, you know, pretty much across the board, we had some strong performances uh, all across men and women, sprints, jumps, distance. It was a really good meet for us. We, we, were, we walked away there very happy. All right. Um you uh, you mentioned jumps and let's talk for a uh, for a moment about uh, Angela Hennig. Uh, she came out with one of her uh, top finishes of the season, a uh, fourth place in the triple jump, I believe. 
That sounds about right. Yeah. Sounds about right. Um, you know, Angela is you know a, a solid contributor week in and week out. You know, a young woman who, despite despite how thin she spreads herself, because she's very involved with you know academics and other uh, school functions. You know, when it's time to perform, she comes out and, and gives us everything she has. So. Angela will you know, continue to contribute, and I hope next year things calm down a little bit for her and she can actually focus uh, a little bit more on the track side. You know, she's, she's very dedicated to everything. Let's just hope there's a little less everything. All right, and in the, uh, the women's throwing events, uh, Abby Pierce, we talked about her uh, last week. Um, she had gone into this meet with the, uh, top, uh, the top throw in the conference in the discus now. Um, unfortunately for, for our side, uh, a few of the other um, a few of the other conference athletes surpassed her this week. But uh, Abby did manage to score for us in uh, discus and the hammer throw. Yeah, and I think Abby will be the first one to tell you that she wasn't happy with how she performed, um, despite not having real good rhythm or whatever it might have been that day. You'd have to ask her what wasn't clicking. Uh, she still was able to muscle through, have good enough technique to score in both of those events, but not the day she was hoping for, not the day we were hoping for, uh, but she'll definitely be one that can benefit from the last chance meets. Uh, I think last time I looked, her discus throw was still around 64th best in the nation. So, you know, she's got a little bit of room to try to, to get up there. You know, she'll have to add on about another two and a half meters, uh, but Abby's capable of that big throw. It's just when will that big throw become the norm and not the exception. And, and she's making great, great strides towards that. And as soon as Abby's ready for that to be her norm, it will become it because she is very driven in what she does. All right. Uh, let's turn it over to the uh, men's side now for a few minutes. Um, and let's start with uh, Josh Warren. Um, ran a strong 400 meters, uh, came in second, and yet uh, we had a discussion off camera that um, when, he, uh, when he's looking at uh, qualifying for nationals, uh, not so much the 400, but also looking at the uh, 800. Yeah, um, in our world, Josh isn't a 400 runner. Uh, we look at Josh as an 800, 1500 meter runner. Uh, we weren't going to sacrifice the training plan uh, for conference for his overall goals. So yeah, we put him in the 400 because we know anytime we line him up, we can get a 49 high, 50 low out of him because Josh is just that fast. Uh, had we trained him for the 400, who knows? It, you know, probably would have repeated again as conference champ. We we trained a little bit more towards that for indoor, uh, but outdoor, you know, we, we made the decision that we were going to bump him up a distance, and and we firmly expect for him to put up a real good 800 here in the next two weeks and. At some point, then we'll make that transition to 1500. We're just not ready there. So we're gonna stay true to the training plan. And sometimes, yeah, you don't put your best athlete in their best events in a conference meet because the bigger picture is trying to get them to nationals. All right, um, let's talk about another Josh, and that's Josh Schultz. Uh, now, he is one of our uh, seniors, so he's uh, wrapping, up, uh, wrapping up his collegiate career. But uh, he had a very, very good meet, um, finished third in the uh, 110 hurdles, and then also a, a sixth place in the high jump. Yeah, Josh had a very good day. He uh, has been chasing that 15 flat mark in the hurdles for four years. Well, I think he'll argue uh, eight years <laughs> since high school. So it was nice. Uh, his race finished and he was telling everybody uh, he didn't feel good over the fourth hurdle. He clipped the seventh hurdle and he was kind of depressed because I, I guess he felt he didn't run that well. Uh, but it was nice when the, when the score came up, uh, I think he ran a 14.89 that uh, he got under his 15. And, and as a senior, you know, if that's, uh, if that's his last meet, I don't know if he's planning on doing the last chance meets, I hope he is. Uh, but if that's his last one, that nothing, nothing better than to go out with your fastest time uh, throughout your collegiate career uh, at the end. Uh, I was very happy for him. Uh, there, everybody, there was hugs all around. It, it was an elusive mark that uh, was there that he finally conquered, so we're all very happy for Josh. All right, and um, let's, uh, let's talk for a moment about uh, more about finishing up on a good note, and uh, I'm talking about Joe Tuzinski here in the uh, throwing events now. Uh, Joe is not a senior, so I mean, he, we will see him back hopefully next year, but um, 
Joe came away with one of his uh, top efforts of the season and uh, scored some points for the men in the hammer throw. Yeah, that was, it was a pleasant surprise uh, to see Joe uh, in, in the scoring position. We knew he had the capabilities. Um, he's been working hard. And for him to get a couple of throws in both events, discus and hammer, on the same day or in the same meet were great. Uh, I mean, Joe couldn't have been happier. We were happy for him. Uh, he's one where the expectations weren't put on him. It's like, Joe, just go out there and do what you can. And it's, it's nice for athletes when they can contribute to a, a team's overall performance when they're not expected to. And we expected Joe to throw his personal bests, uh, but he, he actually was able to score for us. So we're, you know, those, those, are, those are the good stories. Those are the ones you like. And uh, Joe's just a quality kid. And give me 50 more Joes, and, and I'd be a happy coach. All right. Now, the conference meet was the – uh, was the last meet of the season for your full squad. Obviously, as you mentioned, there will be uh, some kids uh, taking a shot at the last chance this weekend. But um, just looking back at the season, um, indoor and outdoor, um, what, what would you say is probably the best overall quality of your, of your kids that will be returning? Uh, next year to compete. Mm. I, I try not to throw up the trick questions too often. But. Yeah, I mean, there, there's a couple of qualities that have kind of bubbled up to the top throughout the year. Uh, trust, you know, whenever there's new coaching, and last year I had to deal a lot um, with the changing of the guard from my predecessor to myself, a lot of people questioning what we were doing and why we were doing it. Uh, people don't like change whether they're athletes or if they're working uh, you know, in a factory or a cubicle. People don't like change. But our athletes took the change last year, accepted more change this year. So they're very trusting. And with that trust, they saw benefit uh, and improvement. And from that, uh, an increased work ethic. You know? People will buy in if they see the results. And now that they're seeing the results, they've completely bought in. So trust and hard work uh, are probably the um, two cornerstones of, of what you need to be a successful program. Um, you know, there's a couple things we still need to work on. Uh, being on time would be a good one. <laughs> you know, college students are notoriously five minutes late for things. Uh, but the, with the trust and the willing to work hard, I, I think the rest will fall on the line. So. I think those would probably be the areas where there was the most growth throughout the year. All right. Well, Phil, uh, I'd like to thank you for your time this afternoon. And uh, certainly to, uh, to all the Cougars that are uh, done for the season, we say job well done. And for the rest of them, uh, the best of luck uh, this weekend at the last chance. And, uh, I, I hope that we can uh, be talking again here in a week or two about uh, some uh, national competition for a few of them. Uh, I look forward to it. I imagine we will be.